Hi guys, so I decided to do a bit of a review on a product I've never even seen before in my life. My mum bought me these um, out of a book, a catalogue that she was ordering something for herself in. Thought they would be useful for me when it comes to doing any like hairstyles for when I'm going out. And it's these things. Now, they're called hair spoolies. And they came in a pack of 24 and they made a silicon. Now, these were very hard to try and find on the internet, not only to buy, but to actually figure out how the hell you use them. Because there is no instructions in the bag. All I've got is the sticker telling me how much they were and what they were and how many I had. So I finally figured out how to use them and I'm going to show you. Um, obviously this video will go up whether or not they work or not and whether I like them or not regardless just so that you can see how they work. I mean I'll probably end up making a tits up of it but who cares? Um, but yeah, you'll see either way whether I like them or not. Um, they, like I said, they are made of silicon, and normally when you put silicon type products in your hair, when you start unrolling them, they'll tug at your hair. But we'll see what happens. I will try and find a link somewhere on Amazon or something to find another company that makes something like these that are very similar so if you do like them if it works out all right if you do like them and you want to purchase them then you will be able to i'll try and find a link for you so you can have a look and check them out yourself um yeah like i said this company whoever made these i, I don't know these were just some product out of a catalogue but i'll find something exactly the same for you so let's see how they get on okay so i have some water actually i know this says heat protection spray it used to be but i've kept the bottle and put water in so i'm going to dampen each bit of hair before i wrap it round these curl spools and we'll see what happens now I'm going to say it every time I do a tutorial but yes I have very thin hair so I'm not going to need many of these and there's 24 in this pack so hopefully it should work and I'm going to take a new massive comb and I'm going to section it parting it down where I would normally do my hair to one side. I love this comb because I can just go like that and it completely sections it off. Okay, now I'm going to start with this side. This should have enough, hopefully. And we'll see how we go. I'll show you how you're supposed to use these. Right. section a bit off if you have too much hair when you use these they will just pop open so depending on how thick your hair is i can get away with picking up a little bit more if, if you have really thick hair you're gonna have to really be careful how much you use so I'll take this amount first. Now, I'm going to dampen the whole thing. Now, it says to take the spoolie and wrap it round as tight as possible. Roll it up to your head. Put it against your head and then pop it over like that. That's worked. That's a good sign. 
<laughs> we'll take another section. Got a bit too much there. Might have to split that in half. And just do the same all around. And we'll see what happens. Take your section, open it, get the spoonie, wrap it round. And fold it as tight. You can have them as loose or as tight as you want. And fold it over. And do the same. Point it to your head, fold it over. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to finish off putting these in all the way around. And then we'll see what happens. Once I put them all in, I'll come back and you'll see what they look like when they're in. So I'll see you in a bit. So half an hour later I'm back, I managed to get them all in and I'm going to let them dry off for about an hour just to make sure, I might even go over with a hairdryer as well just to double check that they're all dry and I will be back in an hour and I'll take them out and we'll see what happens. Okay so I've had these in exactly an hour now so we'll see what happens. See. If they've set, I've been over them with a hair dryer. I forgot to mention when I put them in, um, I ended up with four left, so I've only used twenty. I could have done with probably separating a couple uh, strands of hair, sections of hair into two, but we'll see. So this labour work won't run. So I'll start with the ones that I put in first. Okay, <laughs> so that's what you're left with. They've actually surprised me, to be honest. I was expecting a bit more of a looser curl, but we've not done too bad. I kind of like them. The only thing I would say is they do stick and grab to your hair because they're made of silicon, so they tend to tug and pull a bit. But no, no not too bad. I've not done a bad job, so I'm going to brush it out. We'll see what effect you get. Now you get a bit of a looser curl than what I was hoping for, but nothing that you can't work with. So you're still going to get that wave, it's just what you want to do with it when you brush it out. 
Man, you guys have no idea how easy you have it when it comes to doing your retro styles. Now the reason I'm using this brush is because I want that frizzy look that you get like most 50s style air styles you'll see they have that frizzy effect I actually like the wave that it's given. So that's what you would be looking for with a 50s style. And you just got to be careful not to push through it too much. But basically, that is it. And I'm going to get a bit of my trusty Yardley Brewing Tea. And run it through my hair a bit just to give it that bit of shine and slick slick the sides down a bit run it through the hair give it a bit of shine keep any strays at bay I mean you can Hairspray it in place, but I'm not going to bother hairspraying because I'm not going out. I'm just doing it just to give you a bit of an idea of what these bullies do. But yeah, that's the kind of effect that they can give. I like it. I mean, obviously, depending on how you put them in and where you put them in, it depend on what kind of bush out effect you get. But basically, that is it. Um, I mean, you can back comb from the root. But like I said, if I was going out, I probably would have be back combing it from the root, give it a bit of a height. But for a bit of a wave and that vintage or authentic look i think they do a pretty good job so yeah i'll give them a thumbs up and like i said this is the first time i've ever tried them to see what i end up with and i like it so that is it for today a bit of a tutorial to see how a new product works I mean you could use them to curl for doing your pump or anything but no I like that I can deal with that I'll use these for when I'm going out if I want a bit more of a classy 50s glamorous type hairstyle look but that is it thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye